In this video, we're going to take a look at how to wire up 10 scene wall plates. So to do this, we recommend using Cat5e cable, but you can also use any four core cable, such as four core alarm cable as well. The wall plates that are going to be powered over this cable, there's no need for any additional power supply. And these wall plates will then fit into any standard European or US back boxes available from any DIY stores. If you're having just a single wall plate, such as in this scenario, you can run up to a thousand meters over the cable. If you're going to daisy chain up some wall plates, you can daisy chain up to 10 and that will run up to 300 meters. So first of all, we're going to take a look at how to wire up a single wall plate. So here I've got a single wall plate wired up to some ECAT 5E cable. And then on the other end, I've got my 10 scene connector here, ready for connection to either a quick Q rack or a 10 scene gateway interface to connect to QuickQ or MagicQ consoles. So we're going to take a look at the pins that I've wired up here. So we've got seven pins here, and you can see the first two pins here, so pin one and pin two, both of these are positive voltage pins. So if you're using just a single wall plate, you can use either pin one or pin two for your positive voltage. And because I'm using Cat5e cable, I've got one pair here for my positive voltage. If you're using just four core cable, you'd obviously just have a single cable going into one of those pins. We've then got on pins three and pins four, we've got data high and data low. These are just single cables in the case of Cat5e cable. And then we've got a spare pin here. And then finally on pins six and seven, Again, you can use either one of these in this scenario, and this is going to be for your ground. So that's the pins on the wall plate itself. And then on the other end of our cable here, on the 10 scene connector, the pins are wired up in the same order, but you'll notice you've got two less pins here. So you don't have the two pins that you have on the 10 scene wall plate for when you're wiring them in a daisy chain. So again, they're in the same order. Pin one, we've got our positive voltage, and then we've got our spare pin on pin two. Pins three and four are again data high and data low. And then pin five is your ground. So that's how you wire it up in the case of a single wall plate. Here, I've got two wall plates daisy chained together. So in this case, I've got my wall plate at the end of my chain here, wired up as normal, and this is going into my next wall plate. And you can see in this case, I've got both pins one and two in use. So we've got, again, positive voltage and positive voltage. So positive voltage going in and positive voltage coming out. And then we've got pins three and four, again, for our data high and data low. But what we've done is we've uh, paired up two of the data high and two of the data low cables. So one from each cable together to go into those pins. Again, we've got our spare pin here and then pins six and seven again are your ground. So in this case, we're using both six and seven, one going in from the previous wall plate and then one coming out to go to either the next wall plate or to your quick Q rack or gateway, wherever your cable's running next in your daisy chain. Right, so that's how you'd wire up your 10 scene wall plates in either a single configuration or a daisy chain. And it really is as simple as that. Thanks for watching.